Hello, um, we're actually here in the RWA, which is the Royal West of England Academy's permanent collection. This is our collection of permanent artworks, which have been bequeathed to the gallery from artists or have been purchased from some of the exhibitions over the years. I thought it'd be interesting to start by showing you this piece of work on one of our racks. This is a portrait of Ellen Sharples by her daughter, Olinda Sharples. It was actually Ellen that started the collection here at the RWA and actually bequeathed the money to the Academy in order to build the building that we're in here. So all of the work in our permanent collection tends to sort of be stored in here most of the time. And then what we do is when we have specific exhibitions, we'll come in and we'll choose particular works which we might want to put into an exhibition. So the earliest works are probably from, I would say, sort of around sort of the 1840s, 1850s, although we may have a couple of sort of sculptures or potentially other archive materials which go back later. Because these works which have been left to us and form part of the permanent collection, they spend most of their time in here apart from when people come in to look at them or when we use them for particular exhibitions. But most of the works in our upstairs gallery are actually works which we've borrowed from other artists or other galleries. So we have to make sure that the temperature stays very even and also that the humidity stays even to make sure that the works are protected. So for example, an old work like this which hasn't got any glazing on is particularly vulnerable. So we have to make sure that it sort of doesn't get too dry in here, but equally that, it does, that the humidity doesn't get too high, which could also cause issues as well for the work. On a day-to-day -day basis, so Tristan Pollard, who looks after our collection, he could be working on various aspects of the collection. So one of the things he would do every day is to come in and check that the climate's correct in here. He'd also make sure as well that we haven't had any pests for example because obviously they can cause issues for artworks. He also as well makes sure that all of the works in the collection are actually photographed and on our online database so we have if you go onto our website you can actually access all of the works in the collection and look up any work which is in here so one of his jobs is to make sure that we've got as much information as possible on those works but as well as all of the paintings which you see on the racking here we also have a number of sort of different archive items but this is something we found recently in our safe and it's actually the original bylaws for the academy so when the Royal West of England Academy was first set up, somebody actually sort of wrote all the laws which then sort of govern how the Academy would run for future years here. So we've got beautiful objects like that here. For example, we also discovered these in our collection several years ago, which are two beautiful little portraits. But unfortunately, we don't, we don't know who these are of and we don't know who produced them, sadly. We've ended up finding a number of different items which we didn't actually know we had here. So all of those items, when they're found, need to then be sort of catalogued, need to be given a number, and then that information then gets entered onto our system and then they get put in a safe box. And if they're, for example, a work on paper, they'll probably get put in a cabinet such as this. And if it's a framed work, then they'll go up onto one of the rackings. I'm Christian Baxter, I'm a filmmaker, and I made a random act film. So, I went to a workshop day at the station and met Calling the Shots, who are running a random act project for South West. And uh, I spoke to him about my ideas and went through their creative workshop day. And after their workshop, I then applied and then I got selected uh, to work with them to develop my idea into a script and then I was first signed my executive producer and then Jeremy for it and then after a few weeks I was signed my producer Mike and then we started working to really develop the script and develop my idea the best we could. And then after six months, the story was developed, so I managed to put a script together and then get some actors. And once they were secured, I then went on the film camp the week before I was shooting, where we learned about all the different sorts of cameras and uh, got feed to get feedback off all the other filmy what was successful with their applications and then after that I then uh, went to meetings with my cast and then met with Luke who played uh, Matt and Morton and then we started getting the dance scene uh, pinned down and once the dance scene was 
done within a couple of days, we then did the big shoot, which uh, I had an amazing crew, I had a director of photography, I had a special effects team, I had some really fantastic camera operators on this, uh, and within that day of shooting, we managed to bring the bulk of the film to life, and then the last scene we got at my house, which was really interesting to work out how we were going to nail that scene down. And then a few months later, it went to editing, and then after the edit, it went to get the sign done, and then I had the colour grading done, the film was done, and then a few months later, I heard back, and I find out uh, Man of Stories had made it to run the Max website, which was great. I'm Christian Baxter and I'm a filmmaker and my hobbies are going to Harry Potter film sets every year and playing Quidditch. I may chase her, I train on the dimes twice a week. I've been a musician since 2006, I'm a singer and I go to land a good frown in King Street a lot and do my writing from there. I do a lot of community work and I'm an actor as well and I get to meet a lot of celebrities. I've met Rick Astley, Brian Cox and Warwick Davis and I have met maybe about 150 celebrities and I'm a member at the Odeon Cinema and go there quite a lot.